Today we're gonna be creating Disney princesses in The Sims 4, and you know what? I have no idea how we haven't done this yet. There are so many Disney-inspired videos on this channel, but I want to go into Create a Sim, try and make Sims look as similar to Disney princesses as I can, and we're gonna give them each two looks today. I wanna give them each like the original Disney-inspired outfit that you see them wear in the movies. Then we're also going to do a modern version of that, so what I think that the Disney princesses would wear walking around on the street. So let's start off here with Mulan. This is just like a regular pre-made sim and I've made her a teen because in the movie Mulan is a teen. We're gonna remove the hair, we're gonna remove all the accessories and everything and let's start off here with the face. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is start to play around with the jaw a little bit and while we go through this we're gonna see a common trend here. We're gonna see a lot of pointed chins, big eyes, tiny noses. Similar to the doll video we need to remember that these are not realistic expectations here. They're cartoon characters that we're bringing to the sims. I personally find it really fun to make cartoon like sims so we're kind of in my element here so right now I'm just playing around with the face I'm trying to match her eye shape here for her nose I think I might use this preset here and kind of play around with that and for her eyebrows Mulan has like thicker eyebrows in the movie also by the way I'm going off of their cartoon versions I know there's a lot of like live action movies out there right now but I'm going to be going off of the cartoon version I can see us maybe using something like this I'm gonna give her a darker eye color here maybe that one can work and for for my lashes, I actually think I want to do the lashes that go like downwards. I have a couple different sets. I really like to use these ones sometimes. I'm adjusting the mouth a little bit more and I think I'm pretty happy with the face shape here. I do want to go in with a liner. We're going to go in with a pretty sharp edge, I think. I do have this one, which this is the one that came to mind for me. And for Mulan, I'm going to try and not go too heavy on the makeup. I might try something like this and like bring it down a little bit. And we'll do like the lightest tint on her cheeks. Okay, let's figure out a hair and for her hair, I I think I should probably do the part where she's like cut her hair short and I feel like I have a hair that's very similar it might be this one or this one here from Aretha B I think I'm gonna give her this one okay face shape looking strong I think I'm gonna move on to her outfit there are definitely a few snowy escape options we could pick especially when she's wearing her green outfit I'll give her just some shoes under there for that that could be a potential outfit there this one has a little bow in the back I've never noticed that on this outfit I'm gonna give her some nails and I think I might give Mulan a few outfits outfits here. So this is going to be option one, but I know that there is a dress in game actually. I think it's from Realm of Magic. <gasps> this dress. Okay, this is kind of iconic on her because at the bottom there, I thought that was a dragon when I was like thinking of it in my mind, which is kind of iconic for Mulan. This is so beautiful on her and there is a slit down the leg. I'm thinking I should put a tattoo because I know I do have a dragon tattoo that would be so cute. I'm giving her these black boots here and let me see if I can find that tattoo. Oh my gosh, here it is. How freaking cool is that? Okay, let's see it with the dress. That's iconic. She has to rock this. She looks so cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna give her one more, maybe like a pant look. I wasn't planning on doing three outfits for each of these, but I mean, if we get carried away, we get carried away. So for her pant look, I was kind of envisioning something like this with boots, like not heels, maybe some like chunky combat style boots if I have them with some socks. I don't know. I just feel like I see her running around the street in something iconic like this. And for her shirt. I'm looking for a red top, although that does look cool and it shows off that dragon tattoo. We could give her the red version of it or even the long sleeve could look cool. I'm gonna give her some chunky bracelet. I actually have that like fishnet thing to put under there and that ties together with the socks down below. Okay, this is actually such a cool outfit. This is gonna be my modern day Mulan. I could see her walking down the streets of like Windenburg or Mount Kamarabi, especially in this one too. Like I am not gonna overlook that dress from Realm of Magic. We do need to give her some traits though. Let's pick an aspiration here. I feel like maybe athletic would work. Mulan is a warrior so let's do the athletic bodybuilder aspiration. And for her traits she's very determined, motivated, she's brave. Okay let's give her adventurous and active. Okay this is gonna be our Mulan. Let's move on to the next one which is going to be Jasmine. All of these princesses were so young. Okay Jasmine is also a teen. I'm gonna remove all the accessories and everything. We're gonna go in get the hat off, the hair. Cute ear though. I just realized I didn't show you guys which skin detail I used for Mulan by the way. The skin detail that I used was the Brighten skin. For Jasmine, I think I might give her this one. I love the glow that it gives on her cheeks. For her brows, I'm thinking maybe like these ones could work. We'll just bring them up like that. I'm adjusting the chin. Again, getting that Disney princess pointy chin. And she's already got high cheekbones, so we're good there. Okay, for her nose, I'm gonna try and find a preset and work from there. I think maybe we could do this one. We're gonna go in and adjust a 
a little bit. Bring the bridge forward a little bit. We're gonna bring the nose out a little bit. Her lips, I might just bring out the bottom lip slightly. And for her eyes, again, we have to go with like the big eyes. So I'm gonna just start like pulling apart here. I'm gonna bring down the inner corners a little bit and I'm actually gonna just go like this, just enlarging them as much as possible and we'll pull them apart a little bit. When I'm doing cartoon eyes, I also like to go in and make the pupils a little bit bigger. The eye shape is really hard to get in The Sims because we're kind of limited in what we can do. I wish you could just bring the sliders like all the way out, just like go crazy with it. Like in The Sims 3, my Sims used to look so crazy. Okay, so after playing with the eyes a little bit, this is the shape that I got. We're gonna go in with the lashes. I feel like Jasmine would have like the makeup all done up, the accessories and everything. So for her lashes, I'm gonna give her those ones. For the liner, I actually have a really pretty one in mind that I think would work. Ooh, this one. Okay, it has that little bit of inner corner in there. I really like that. For her makeup, I might give her this one here with that contour, the highlight. And for her lips, I always find myself going back to this one here. This creator creates such a beautiful lipstick and I find it works really well on a lot of different skin tones. So I always go back to that one. And let's try and find a hair. See, this might get a little bit difficult. I definitely don't have that big ponytail that she's got. I do have a couple like braids maybe. I could do like something like like that. She almost has like a bluish tint to her hair. Okay, not that one. Wait, what about that? We'll give her that like bluey black tint. And it's like really long and pretty. Oh my gosh, this is it. Okay, let's get her her first outfit, which is going to be like the movie inspired one. Oh, we have this one. That blue is really pretty. And this is actually in game. <gasps> Look at that back. That's gorgeous. There's also this one here. This is from my wedding stories. She's got the pant look there. So that also kind of works. I do have this one though. This dress is really pretty. It's the same color color as her outfit in the movie. For this one, let's give her some heels. I think I'm gonna bring in the gold. So I have these really pretty gold heels right there. I actually have a really nice bracelet we could do too. This one, okay, this is the one I was thinking. Look how beautiful that is. That is so pretty. I do also have some accessories I think I can give to her. I have a really chunky gold necklace, kind of like the one in the movie, this one here. And she has a really pretty like headpiece on there too. So I mean, I have this. I have this one, which kind of gets stuck in her hair. Wait, I have that one. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And it kind of just goes right into the side of her hair too. This is it. Okay, so for Jasmine, this is what we're going with. Her dress here. I'm thinking for her everyday outfit, we go a little more casual. Getting away from the fancy lifestyle and everything. That one's actually kind of cute. Maybe we could pair that there. I was also thinking like this could be cool too. Like something still really fashionable, but very casual. I think for Jasmine's more modern look, I'm gonna give her this with the blue pants there. The top kind kind of similar to that like t-shirt that she wore in the movie, but a little bit different and a lot more subtle than the regular outfit she was wearing. For her aspiration, I think I'm gonna give Jasmine this like family oriented one. So she wants to have a family that succeeds in life in their own way. She wants them to be independent, seek out their own opportunities and adventure. That's what she wants in life. And for her trait, we can do animal enthusiast. That definitely makes sense for Jasmine. She's also very smart and very strong. What if we did genius? Okay, so there's Jasmine, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be Tiana. First thing we're gonna do, go in and take off the makeup, take off the hair. We're gonna darken her skin tone. For her brows, I'm thinking maybe like this one could work. We'll just raise those up a little bit and we're gonna get to work on the jaw. I find bringing out the cheek sometimes helps like round it out. Sims tend to have a very like square like jaw down here. I'm just rounding that out there. For the nose, I think I might go with one of these presets here and then just kind of go in and adjust a little bit. I'm just kind of like playing with her nostrils here. I always like to make sure that I turn my sims to the side too because sometimes I like think the nose is going well and then I turn to the side and it's just not what I want it to be. For her eyes again, <laughs> they look so funny in the beginning here. I'm just gonna put them out to size for now to like kind of see what I'm doing. And for the lips, I've got a few custom presets that I really like to use. This one here and this one are my favorite. So I'm gonna pick, I think this one and I'm just gonna play around a little bit, make her lips a little bit larger and the eyes. Okay, the eyes are definitely the hardest part of this because Disney eyes are so like distinguishable. Like, you know, looking at them, they have a certain vibe to them, but I feel like that might kind of work for now. Her skin details. Actually, I think this one could be really cute. The brightened skin again, same as the one we used on Mulan. Okay, let's give her her lashes. There we go. And let's also try and find a hair. And Tiana always has her hair in like that updo bun. So let's try and see if I can find something similar for that. I do have this one. This is really cute with those like bangs at the front. She has a little bit of hair like coming down, but not a whole lot. There's also this one. This 
one looks really cute on her. Or I have this one here with that little curl coming down. Okay, I think I'm gonna give her this one. For her makeup, I think I might give her this one. We'll just like mute it a little bit. I don't think I have a crown that I could put on her, but I do have some bows. So maybe I could find like a green bow for her hair. Like this one, that's kind of cute. It's like tucked in behind her hair a little bit. Okay, let's go and get her an outfit, which this random one that she's wearing is actually really cute on her. Even in that shade, like that's so cute. But okay, we need to find her like a nice green dress. For the movie inspired look, let's see what we can find. So the look that I'm going for is that big ball gown that she wears in the movies. She's also wearing gloves with that outfit too. So if I could find something like that, that would be good. I'm not really seeing much with that neckline right now. There's definitely some pretty ones in here, but nothing really getting too close to what I'm looking for. <gasps> that looks so pretty. That one too. Oh my goodness. I am finding so many dresses here today. There's this one too. That one's really pretty. Let me add the gloves while we're working so we can like kind of get that in our minds as well. So just like long white gloves. I'm just going to use those base game ones. I do have this dress here and it has that strapless part. Not obviously exact to the one in the movie, but I feel like this is going to be as close as we can get. I am going to give her a necklace. I'm going to give her some green earrings. I think the necklace she's wearing is actually blue. So I'm going to try and find a cute blue one we can put. And this is going to be her look for the movie inspired one. Let's go ahead and do a modern version. So first we're going to take the bow out of her hair. We're not going to bring that through to this outfit. She did look so cute in that turtleneck that she was originally in. So I'm going to try and find that. And I think I'm going to go with like the yellow look inspired by her like restaurant look. So for sweaters, I do have this one. It has like a little bit of a turtleneck going on, not too much. And we're going to pair it with like a cute skirt. Maybe if we could find one with like a green pattern on it. Wait, that one's really cute. Okay. And we're going to pair it with maybe some boots. I don't think I'm going to give her heels for this. Even just like those ones there. And maybe we'll give her some socks as well. And I might give her a necklace if I can find one that looks good with this neckline. Maybe just something like that. Okay. So we've got the modern day version here. We've got the formal Disney inspired option. And for her aspiration, we have to go with something for food, right? She wants to own a restaurant in the movie. She's very driven. Let's do the master chef aspiration. We'll do foodie. And I feel like we could do animal enthusiast for her too. Okay. So there we go. We have Tiana and we're moving on to the next one. And the next one is going to be Elsa. Okay. So for her skin tone, she is very pale. She's meant to be like the ice queen. I think I'm going to go with this one and like adjust it over this way a little. For her eyebrows, she has very thin eyebrows. So I think we're going to go with like our base game one. Like maybe we could do this one and change the color here. Adjusting the cheeks and stuff again. She does have a little bit of a rounder face. She has a smaller mouth and small nose and big old Disney eyes. But her nose does have that like swoop to it. Like when she turns to the side, it has that like perfect like angle there. So I'm going to bring out the tip, I think a little bit here and we're going to curve it up just a little bit and again, make these eyes freaking huge. <laughs> She's got blue eyes. So I think I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to play with these until I get something that works. I've also been like playing around with the ears on this one too, just to kind of get that cartoony, like cutesy vibe. So we're going to do these lashes here on her. And for her skin detail, I put the Brighton one on. I think I'm going to keep that one. That seems to be a pretty good one for like this Disney look. For her makeup, she does have pink lips and I really want to go heavy on the blush to get that like cold feel on her. I might give her one of these ones with like the gloss and I want to find a blush that has a lot on the nose. Like this one does. Maybe I'll just have to go like a little bit darker, like a little darker than I normally would for her skin tone here. Okay. For her eyeliner, Elsa does have some like eyeliner going on. Maybe that one would work. That one looks really cute. That's the same creator as the lipstick that I like. And for her eyeshadow, I'm going to do, I think like a pink. So like a pink shadow like that. Okay. Now we need to find the hair, which I know I'm going to have a hard time for this one too, because her hair looks so like swept back. She has that iconic braid too, which I don't know if I'm going to have. Honestly, I might've used that one for her that I used for Jasmine already, but I don't think I'm going to have the right shade here. Like that's definitely not going to have that Elsa blonde. Like that color is more her blonde there, but I still don't think that's quite it. Maybe we could do this one that has a pretty similar blonde. It's very like swept back. That is pretty good. That is a pretty good one for her. Let's go and find her an outfit. And for this one, we're looking for like a frosty blue. I have this one with that like neckline there. That one might work. Although I don't like how high up the cut goes on this dress. <gasps> that is so pretty. Maybe that can be for her second outfit. What if we tried this here? It kind of looks like her top there. And I like how this is like becoming more detailed as it goes down the sleeve. I think I'm going to give her this dress. And for her shoes, I actually have some like icy inspired heels. Yeah, I have these, which are so perfect. Even though you can't see them, we're definitely going to 
gonna give her that. And in terms of like accessories and stuff, she does have some nails on already, but I don't think I'm gonna give her anything else. These Sims keep coming with random aspirations and stuff too, which is so weird. My game never did that before. Okay, for her second outfit, I kind of want to give her like a cute cold weather inspired outfit. Like maybe like a long blue skirt and I could go in, give her the tights, the socks. Do I have like a coat I could put onto her? Wait, that coat is kind of pretty. And then we change up the skirt. I kind of want to give her the boots with like the little ears on them. This is actually a really cute outfit. Maybe not like a winter time look really, but we could go with like a fall look. I'm going to give her a cute little watch on that side. Maybe we'll give her a necklace. I even have snowflake earrings. Okay, she's got to rock those. They're a little bit big, but I cannot pass up that opportunity to use those. So this is our modern day Elsa look. For her aspiration, Elsa loves to protect her family. I think we're definitely going to go family oriented here. Maybe we'll do this one again. This Sim wants to have a family that succeeds in life. She wants the best for them. Oh, we can finally do ambitious. Okay, we're doing ambitious for Elsa. Family oriented and loyal. All right, next one we're going to do is Rapunzel. And for her skin tone, she does have a little bit of a tan going here. For eyebrows, just like Elsa, she has very thin eyebrows. So I think I'm going to use the same ones. They actually ended up pretty cute. And her eyes, I feel like she's got the biggest freaking eyes of all of them. We're going to play around with these here. I find like bringing them in this way and then bringing the bottom out a little bit has been helping. And she has green eyes. So I'm going to use these ones here. I'm going to pull those apart a little bit. And for her nose, she's like the tiniest little like button nose. I think I'm going to use this preset here and we're going to go from there. Just like play around, tilt it up a little bit. And okay, for her eyes, this is what we're going to go with. For her lashes, I really liked those like more subtle ones on Elsa. So I think I'm going to do those again. It was these ones, but in like that swatch there. Okay, let's go and get her a cute blush. I think I want to give her like a light pink, maybe something like that. We're going to do a very light lip gloss. I'm going to like bring the adjuster down a little bit. And for her eyeshadow, I think I'm going to keep it light as well. We'll find like a pink maybe and then bring the adjuster down. I actually have these really cute like subtle ones here. Let's use that. Okay, and for her hair, this has to be like the most iconic part. And it has to be like the longest hair that I own, which I don't know if that's going to be a Max's Match one. The only Max's Match like really long hairs that I have are kind of like those anime style ones like this, which is not really fitting the vibe. I definitely feel like I'll have a longer one for sure for like the alpha hairs that I have. Like look how long some of these ones are. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to find an alpha one. Wait, this one is perfect. It's so long. The blonde is pretty accurate. Okay, this is what we're going to go with. And for her dress, we need to find something purple. I'm kind of thinking there is like the Barbie dress that I used recently. It was one of these ones, but like in purple. Ooh, this one. Okay, this one. But if we can get a purple swatch, that is iconic. I've already gave her some green nails there. And in terms of accessories, again, not really much happening, but maybe I could find like one last thing to give her. What if we gave her a flower crown? Maybe in like that green color. I mean, you could take it off if like that was like not something you wanted, but I feel like that looks so pretty. Kind of just like pulls together her look and yeah, she's definitely so gorgeous. Let's figure out a more modern look. I'm going to take off the flower crown for this one. We're going to keep with like the purple though, I think. And we're going to imagine her as like an artist in The Sims. We're going to keep that in mind. I don't know how much purple I've got. Let's see. That skirt is pretty cute. I've been wanting to use this one here too. Like that one there in the purple could be nice. I'm trying to find something like green to go on top, but it has to be a very certain kind of green to go with a purple like that. Could also go with like a pink. Wait, that is really pretty with like that skirt, that top, maybe with like these cute purple heels here. And I was thinking it would be kind of cute to give her like this locket here. This is from high school years, but I was thinking like she's locked away in the tower, but in the modern world, she's got the key for herself, but it kind of looks like a dog collar a little bit. So I think instead I'm just going to give her that like green necklace right there. And this is going to be her modern day look. For her aspiration, she is very creative. So we can maybe do like the painter extraordinaire. So we're also going to do creative for her traits. And for the other one, I was thinking about doing loves the outdoors because she's stuck in the tower and she wants to get out. So <laughs> I did also go back in and gave her some really cute freckles along her nose. There she is, Rapunzel. Let's move on to the final one we're going to do today, which is going to be Ariel. So to do this, we're definitely going to create an occult sim. We're going to make her a real mermaid. That is terrifying. Oh my God, I need to change everything about this. Okay, she's back. <laughs> okay, first thing, whoa, those are really cool eyes. Ariel's got blue eyes. We're going to go and change those to like maybe these ones. Thin eyebrows again. We're going with that classic base game one. When you break it down, some of these really do look so similar. Whoa, look at her ears. Okay, we're going to have to 
change those, but that is really cool. Making the eyes massive again. They're also all like really young, which like thinking back to some of the storylines on here is a little crazy. We're gonna get that brightened skin on again. I might actually just do the top lashes for Ariel. Okay, let's go and get her makeup. She has that iconic red lip. Ooh, actually, I really like this one here. This is from Urban X Sims. And we're gonna go and get a blush. I think I'm gonna try and match it like a more warm tone to her lipstick. So maybe like that there. And then for her eyeshadow, I don't think Ariel has eyeshadow. Yeah, I don't think she does. Okay, let's find that hair again. Her hair is so recognizable with that like big bang. So gonna have to try and find something here with bangs. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything with that big like swoop at the front though. Like I do have this one. This one's really pretty. It's like quite long and wavy too. I hate how the mermaids like top of their heads get cut <laughs> off here in Create a Sim. I think I'm gonna go with that hair actually. Then for her mermaid tail, this part is gonna be pretty easy. Like we just have to find the green. Like that one can probably work. And for her top, I do have this one here, which is probably pretty accurate. Yeah, that one there definitely fitting for Ariel. Okay, so for her mermaid look, this is what we got here. And for her modern look, we could go off of the outfit that she wears when she does like get feet. It's like a blue dress. So maybe we'll go off that. Honestly, maybe something like that could be cute. Or I also have this dress here, like this one in that like purpley blue could be nice. I do think I want to go with something like this though. It's very soft. Maybe we'll pair it with these cute heels here. And I might give her some tights too. I haven't really decided yet. Maybe some socks. Oh, those are actually adorable. This is a very cute outfit. Okay, I need to see if I have any like seashell related things like a bracelet maybe or a necklace. I am gonna give her green nails to match her like mermaid tail. I do have these seashell earrings, but they're clipping with her hair a little bit, but I do have these shark tooth ones just kind of indicating like where she came from. That is so cute. Okay, she still needs to have an aspiration. I kind of want to give her a nature aspiration. Let's give her the collector one. That makes so much sense. She's gonna be child of the ocean, obviously. Maybe we'll make her materialistic. She loves having so many things. All right, so that has been us creating Disney princesses as Sims in The Sims 4. We did the modern version. We've done the Disney movie inspired version. I wouldn't mind doing this again. There's obviously a lot of them that we didn't do in this video. And I had this idea of like recreating the actual characters like Flounder the Fish, for example, as like a Sim. I feel like that would be so funny and fun to do. So let me know if you guys wanna see something like that in the comment section down below and if you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one